from the shifting property another property is there that is first shifting property or frequency shifting property now we have to apply shifting operation in frequency domain so just now we have discussed the uh, uh, shifting operation in time domain similarly we have to apply shifting operation in frequency domain right so frequency shifting property frequency shifting property right or it is also called as first shifting property see in mathematics we have to use this name first shifting property and for signals uh, analysis purpose there we have to write frequency shifting property the name explains a uh, shifting operation in frequency domain so frequency shifting so in one domain shifting operation another domain it multiplies with exponential function simple statement so not only this laplace transform in fourier transform in jet transform we can write this statement the statement should be like this in one domain uh, shifting operation another domain it multiplies with the exponential function or another domain it performs the phase shifting operation this is one simple statement here right so finally all the transforms are used to convert time domain to frequency domain so that's why here we have to discuss time and frequency representations if you apply the shifting operation in frequency domain then in time domain it performs the uh, multiplication of exponential signals right the statement should be like this laplace transform of f of t laplace transform of f of t is f of s time domain is contained into frequency domain right now i want to perform shifting in frequency domain f of s minus a shifting is nothing but algebraic summation of some constant with the term so here some constant this constant value is how much here a value a value perform the subtraction operation or can I plus operation also that is depends on the uh, left shift and right shift operation so if uh, summation of this signal this constant with s uh, s is nothing but your frequency so this is also called as frequency shifting property right whenever shifting applies in frequency domain in time domain it multiplies with exponential function so here we have to write like this Laplace sum sum of this f of t f of t multiplies with now exponential signal e to the power of a times it shifts so a into t laplace transform of e to the power of a t into f of t laplace transform of e to the power of a t into f of t is f of s minus a but in this shifting operation uh, we have to observe one point here that is uh, if the exponential power is uh, positive power exponential power consists here positive then immediately you have to apply here opposite sign so minus a here plus a is there right minus a if it is minus a it should be like this laplace transform of e to the power of minus a t into f of t so exponential signal multiplies in frequency uh, time domain then shifting operation applies in frequency domain so there minus a is there that's why this side you have to write f of s plus a this is the simple statement of uh, uh, frequency shifting property or first shifting property now we have to prove this now we have to prove this for that purpose first of all i am taking the basic equation laplace transform of f of t is f of s this is integration from minus infinity to plus infinity the given function is here f of t write the given function as it is and multiplies with e to the power of minus st dt right so this is the basic laplace transform equation now i want to apply laplace transform of the signal now so here i'm taking directly here laplace transform of e to the power of a t into f of t now what is the given function here f of t multiplies with exponential signal right then apply the laplace transform equation integration from minus infinity to plus infinity integration from minus infinity to plus infinity the given signal is e to the power of a t into f of t this complete given signal multiplies with e to the power of minus st dt right so here e to the power of a t is there and e to the power of minus st is there bases are equal bases are equal power should be added the immediate it gives you like this integration from minus infinity to plus infinity 
f of t into e to the power of minus st plus a t. Right? So, minus st plus a t. Then I want to separate that integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of t into e to the power of minus t I am taking common now. Minus t is common, then the remaining term is s minus a with respect to t. Right? Now, observe this equation with the standard formula here. So, the standard mathematical equation explains f of t into e to the power of minus st into dt. So, this complete integration operation with respect to t is there. Now, this t multiplies with here s. Minus symbol is compulsory. This t multiplies with s. That is why I have wrote here f of s. Now, similarly here, integration from minus infinity to plus infinity f of t into e to the power of minus t some value some function into dt. So, this is uh, this equation also integration is with respect to t is there. Now, this minus t multiplies with one term here what is the term here s minus a then immediately you have to write f of s minus a. So, this is equal to f of s minus a right. Now, finally, what is the statement? Laplace transform of e to the power of a t into f of t. Exponential signal multiplies in time domain. In frequency domain, it performs the shifting operation. So, f of s minus a. But we have to write opposite symbol. Here plus a is there, write with minus a. If it is minus a, write with plus a. This property is also called as frequency shifting property frequency shifting property. Now, similarly, I am writing one more property already we have discussed that f of t minus t naught. So, now the shifting applied in time domain. So, if the shifting applied in time domain exponential multiplies in frequency domain e to the power of minus s t naught into f of e s. It is also called as time shifting property time shifting property. So, in shifting shifting operations again two types uh, two types of properties are there one is time shifting property and another is frequency shifting property. If the shifting applies in time domain then it is called a time shifting property. If the shifting applies in frequency domain then it is called a frequency shifting property. So, these two are comes under shifting properties. Now, uh, I want to uh, use this application. So, these properties in some other problems like right? So, for that purpose, first of all, I am taking now the basic uh, equations Laplace transform of 1. Laplace transform of 1 or we can write Laplace transform of u of t. u of t is nothing but a unit step function. That unit step function defined for time is from 0 to infinity with amplitude 1. So, that is why we can write like this Laplace transform of 1 or Laplace transform of u of t. What is the answer? So, that is 1 by s. Already we have discussed this, right? Now, one exponential signal multiplies with this one. One is as it is here. This one function I am writing, uh, taking as it is here. f of t is as it is. If it is multiplies with exponential function e to the power of a t, e to the power of a t, then what happens? See, Laplace transform of e to the power of a t into u of t. See? Whenever exponential multiplies in time domain, in frequency domain it performs the shifting operation. So, in frequency domain, which part is shifted? Yes, is replaces with s minus a. Just observe here. Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. This f of t multiplies with exponential signal. Now, in frequency domain, s replaces with s minus a. Now, here frequency domain equation is 1 by s is there. So, s replaces with s minus a, this becomes now 1 by s minus a. Already I have explained this one, Laplace transform of exponential signal is 1 by s minus a. And if it takes like this, Laplace transform of e to the power of minus a t into u of t or 1, then it becomes 1 by s plus a. So, all these are comes under shifting properties. Now, from the shift, from this shifting property, Again, I want to write one more uh, important equation. See, that equation purpose, I am taking this one now. Laplace transform of cos of bt into u of t. 
Laplace transform of sinusoidal signal. So, Laplace transform of cos of V into U of T is S by S square plus B square. Laplace transform of cos of V into U of T is S by S square plus B square. So, cos function becomes like this. This is frequency domain equation. Now, in the sine domain, in the time domain, exponential signal multiplies. Immediately, we have to apply shifting operation in frequency domain. So, that purpose I am taking like this. Laplace transform. This complete function multiplies with exponential signal. e to the power of 80. Laplace transform of e to the power of 80 into this function I am writing as this. Cos of bt into u of t. Right? Whenever the exponential signal multiplies in time domain, in frequency domain, s replaces with s minus a. Here a is positive value, so immediately we have to replace with minus a, right? So, here s is there, write with s minus a by, and here s, s minus a whole square plus b square, right? So, these are some other important problems. So, Laplace transform of e to the power of 80 into cos b t into u of t is s minus a by s minus a whole square plus b square from this. Again, I am writing one more equation. Laplace transform of e to the power of minus 80 into cos of b t into u of t is. Now here, exponential signal multiplied. That exponential signal with negative power e to the power of minus 80 is there. Then replace s with s plus a. So, s plus a by s plus a whole square plus b square. So, all these uh, expressions are used to find the system analysis and to find the responses of the system. So, please remember these equations. These equations are uh, important for some other subjects like a control system subject, uh, pulse digital circuit sub subject and another is a signal sense system subject and one more also there that is a network theory analysis. So, if you want to solve AC circuits or two port network or transient analysis circuits, these type of equations are used. So, we have to remember all this. And similarly, I want to write sine function also. So, for that purpose, I am writing here Laplace transform of sine Bt function. Laplace transform of sine Bt into u of t is b by s square plus b square, right? Laplace transform of sin bt into u of t is b by s square plus b square. If the sine function multiplies with exponential signal, e to the power of 80 into sin of bt into u of t. Whenever exponential signal multiplies in time domain, then in frequency domain it performs the shifting operation. S is replaces with s minus a. Now here this is constant value right as it is b by and s is defined here s minus a whole square plus b square. Similarly, if it is minus and you write with plus. So, these are the standard mathematical equations. Now, I have wrote these all these equations. All these, all these are comes under basic Laplace transform formula. Basic Laplace transform formula. That means basic equations all this. So, Laplace transform of e to the power of 80. Laplace sum of uh, cos function, Laplace sum of sine function, Laplace sum of cos bt into e to the power of 80, sine bt into e to the power of 80, all these are the basic equations. So, we have to remember all this, right? So, please take this now.